getting into a place, you know, Moorgate tunnels, the, you know, the guts of the Barbican Centre. Shit. You know, you get in there. Yeah. And it's like concrete, concrete sort of like um, just structures and rooms and... Take your breath odd, away odd stuff. Take, yeah, odd shaped rooms and then, you know, and then a balcony in the tunnel and then you go somewhere else and... You know, so all those sort of places, you know, as a kid, as you know, as we were to extent, you know, is it's adventure. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official dot com. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label, organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton, and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor, celebrating music, social activism, hemp, and street culture. THTC, eco fashion redefined since 1999. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Killer Keller Podcast. Serves you right. Welcome to the Keller Dome. Subscribe, do all that business. You know what we're here to do. We're here to spread the word, the gospel, street culture, and more. Trying to keep ourselves out of trouble on a, on a midweek. And uh, my God, if you're staying out of trouble, you come to the wrong place. We have got a giant in his. Oh, he's, beyond our expectations, I've managed to get hold of him, and you know who it is because you've requested him as well. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings, let's welcome inside the ride wherever you are, the mighty prime inside the flesh. Nice, thank you, nice How are to you? meet you. Let's get you up and close to this microphone, let's get yeah. you uh, zoomed in and ready to go. How are you brother? I'm alright, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, what's yeah, it's so good. What's been happening? I mean, no, it feels lots like been happening. Yeah, like you know, a lot time. of nothing, maybe. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, in terms of like where you know where I want to be and what I want to be doing. You know, it's it's slow, but things are going, mm -hmm. things are moving. You know, and sometimes you you just gotta go with what the atmosphere is. You know, yeah, ebbs and flows. It's ebbs and flows, yeah, it's all ebbs and flows. The creative yeah. path, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, extremely well-versed man and, you know, a hero mm. of mine, I might add. I have to just throw it out there to the global man. Mm. Like, uh, I see you as a constant, as, as an artist. Raw bones, creative output and energy. I, I feel like you, you're on your own mission. You, you always seem to be on your own mission. Like you've you've just got this creative fuel. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't say I was on my own mission as such when it comes to like graph, because you know I took my inspiration from you know the big New York giants of of that time that I I saw through like you know Subway Art, you know um, you know all the, all the rest of the media that was out there mm. at the time, Star Wars and everything. You know, Subway Art was the foundation for, you know, a lot of us, you know, and for me, when I saw those whole cars, you know, those top to bottoms, those window downs, you know, knowing that they're done by, you know, kids younger than me, yeah. you know, at the time, you know, like 15 or whatever, I'm thinking like, what, you know, yeah. it, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't kind of understand it, like, I couldn't. Was it too much to, to compute? Yeah, the, yeah, it's like, a lot. The like the funk of it, like mm. they're just like wow, like these little kids are how just they like, do that? doing it, and yeah. they're doing it, and like how yeah, the colours and like style, and, mm. you know. Yeah. yeah. So for me at that time, I was ready to be like, that's me. Mm. I want, I want to be doing that. Mm. Yeah, I want to be doing that. So, um, but you know, you, you, you start off small, you know, and you know, it was early days in the UK. How so, small? How small did you start off? How, like, how, how, you're, you're probably one, one of the only few people that I've had on the show that you could act, you could genuinely, from source, tell me how small the scene was back then to how it is now. How small was it back then, starting from small? Right. Now, here I'm talking like personally small in terms of where I wanted to get to. Mm. But the scene was huge, mm. you know. <clears throat> if you see it as it was fashion, it was like, you know, whatever, you know, the kids going around now with the trousers hanging down, whatever it is, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Where everybody's doing that. Loads of kids are doing it. 
like whether you know they know what they're doing or whatever they're doing it mm. so it was like that sort of vibe you know like every kid in school was doing a little something had a little tag or whatever not all of them were out there you know really propagating it but you know it was like that that's how i remember it a new wave of a new general like something so uh magnetizing yeah in that respect that anyone yeah, when i young... started you know there were already loads of writers before me like you know there were a load of them so you know so it was that sort of thing for me it was already a huge thing i was kind of seeing it and you know getting into more hip-hop you know the rest of hip-hop and see you know everybody knows buffalo gals mm. you know when that video came in another another thing that blew your mind mm. you know and you, and you see don d with the can and like you're like what mm. like mm. his hand is just moving and he's making this line you know this mm. circle and it's like how are you doing it and it yeah. looks amazing you know with the music and everything with it as well you know that gave it the punch and gave it the sort of all holistic sort of view yeah. of like a lifestyle this is a lifestyle so it it felt now you know fast forward myself being involved in anything remotely similar to the, to this nothing by any experience that you had but the the impression i felt when i first when i first discovered hip hop it was like a treasure trove of shit and like people were already progressed in in a certain way did we win but but at the same time i would look at subway art or mm. you know i'd watch star wars <clears throat> and the, it was almost like dna it was like a, it was like you were you're given the coordinates now i guess for so, the age that you were when it first like migrated over these coordinates were actually more like filling in the blanks because you probably saw it and you were like yeah this is how are they doing that like how mm -hmm. are they doing that yeah, yeah. That must have been one hell of a trip because you probably had the opportunity to exercise style and add, add to the tapestry mm. without even realising realizing it, making your yeah. own rules. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, we had, as you know, uh, there was obviously, there was Futura and there was different mm. artists, Brim and um, people that came through. Mm. So, you know... There could be sort of that comparison, but also that familiarity, like with what's what everyone's doing, mm. you know. So, you know, at first, you know, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, we're on our own thing, you know. You know, London ain't gonna be like that or whatever. Do you know? What I mean, it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, okay. But, but you know, I was wrong yeah. because it, it came like that. So, yeah. um, you know, that just shows it was a real scene, and you really, you know, it was early. That was before, you know. <clears throat> Those those guys had gone to Europe, so to pass through here first, mm. you know, a lot of the early guys passed through here first because there was the punk sort of, you know, crossover and stuff. And the future so that, yeah, that kind of collapsed. And the Clash, yeah, yeah. so, you know, Futura came over with the Clash, touring with the Clash. So there was that element of UK already in it as well, yeah. which a lot of people, I think, don't realise that, you know, how early, early UK was actually influencing mm the scene in new york so yeah for real you know so there was there was that so it was it was kind of familiar to us mm. you know mm. the uk have always been embracive of, of re yeah, importing yeah, yeah, things yeah. to america and yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah it's like you don't you know because the american culture is so big and mm. like the, you yeah. know dominating and stuff but you kind of forget like how much is we're feeding back into feeding that. back yeah I mean, Bob Marley's career was, yeah, yeah, was, was yeah. you know, it was it was through his efforts of being over here and making his his sound relevant, make, getting on the major labels, mm. and yet essentially being that rock star that he is. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, with America and race as well. Mm. So you know, these guys from whatever you know, New York, whatever, they probably come over here thinking, you know, let's see if we get accepted and see how they, you know, yeah. take yeah. to us. Jesus, did they? I mean, you you hissed. I mean, these are all like folk stories, that, you know, of like mm. these writers that have come over and they were, you know, was it the case they were greeted like kings when they came over? Was it was it really like kind of charged up like UK's got this, London's got this? You know, it, it was it was was it mutually accepted that you know they would come over and visit and you know like Future mm. for instance was that was this a common thing and were they was, was it was it a kind of respectful? 
sequence of situations? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really around, um, like, when Futura maybe came over. It's, it's not like I went to see him or whatever. But, you know, I was, I was aware as well, like, Brim and TK being over. TK came over, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. I mean, I didn't really, um, you know, by the time some of those other guys came over, you know, I was really, st I was, I was really in it, you mm. know, and I was like, I'm in it. I'm in my groove. Yeah, mm. respect. You know, I ain't gonna be running around. Mm. If I see you, see you. That's cool. Then we can, you know, mm -hmm. chat. But I'm like, I'm bombing. I'm like, I'm mm. out there. I'm doing, I'm doing what you do. You said something on Kings and Toys about a snapshot. Each tag is like one of your own personal pu publicity. You know, mm. a snapshot of what, mm. of you leaving your mark and it's there, waving at people, something mm. to that effect, right? Mm. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could go deeper. Go deeper, please. I could deeper, like, go that, deeper. That is, it's, it's a part of you. Like, mm. you're leaving part of your essence, you, you know, through words and through what you put into that, you know, the idea mm. that you put into that tag mm. and what it is. You're in it, you're there, so, mm -hmm. you know, and also it's the physicality of it. It's, you know, it's you. It's a representation of you, sort of like around. Yeah. yeah? So it's it's deeper than like, you know, yeah, a calling card or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think, you know. For sure. You know, other people will think other, you know, other stuff, but, mm -hmm. you know, see, you know, just knowing the tags over the time and how people... You see a tag, they don't really know who it is, mm. but they're building a picture mm. of who it is. For sure. What they look like, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're like this, they're tall, they're this, they're that. So, you know, that's why, that's how I think it's coming out, is like essence of yourself, really. How we, that is a, you, that's a really good point you make, you know, talking to you about it. Which is art, you know. Yeah, that's right. Art. It's creating it's like, a perception, a perception. Uh, persona and you build up that persona no matter what situation how close you are to something it's always it's repeat 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 mm, right mm, yeah yeah I mean I kind of I suppose I used to think that way yeah that, that's that's what it is but I think it's more open than that you know okay. you know some people they might change their tag every time they do it you know in a way you know change it to a certain extent have a few tags hmm. you know so it can, you know, it can break up into all those sort of things as well, where, you know, you might have a symbol, you just break it down to a symbol, you start, stop doing letters, you just do, or you, you know, form your letters in such a way that they are a symbol in their in the own right and they're mm. not really necessarily to be read or whatever, you know. Yeah. Those that no, no, but... That's true. Some yeah. people just do, like, the iron kind of throw up sort of thing or... Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, there's a logic to it, but, you know... Unless you know, you might not, you know. It's code. Yeah. It's yeah. real code of the street. Yeah. Um, how old were you when you first, you know, started bombing heavily? Heavily? Yeah. Um, starting to like 86. 86, yeah. 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 So, yeah, first started piecing, you know, um, 85, doing a big piece and then... Um, from there, just, you know, I was like, am I going to do walls? Am I going to bomb? You know, and then I started getting into bombing. And, you know, I love mm -hmm. the idea of all city. And, you know, I have to always shout out Crash. Mm -hmm. uh, always, mm -hmm. I always have to shout out Crash because Crash is another big name. Yeah, oh, he's a big name. If you could ever uh, get Crash yeah. on this, um, <laughs> you know, that's that's real gold there because... Yeah. But these were some of the early ones, like before you. Like Who else, yeah, was, yeah, in, yeah. Who else was in and around then that, that inspired you? Oh, Solo, um, another guy, I mean, Scratchski, who wasn't, who was local mm. to me, but, you know, and he kind of did what Crash did because I think he was like maybe, I think Crash was maybe mentoring him. <laughs> But he had a bad tag, you know, they're like bad hand styles. Um, you know, Wush, who's I think American, but he had some nice, you know, mm. he wrote it how you saw it and yeah. said it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, what defines a what defines a great a great tag for you? Oh no, great! Listen, right. I tell you, I ain't home pulling no punches on this one. <laughs> I'm telling you. Right. I mean, I think a sense of sort of control under pressure, you know, mm -hmm. it's like tight, like it is 
what it's meant to be, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's in a good spot and, like, you, and they've kept it tight. Mm. You know, they've kept it tight, like, you know, I mean, you know, Artful Dodger. You remember the Artful Dodgers? Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. <laughs> My Lord. Just beasts. You see them in that calligraphy, yeah, yeah, yeah. neat. You know, you're running around. Yeah. And then you'll come yeah. across one of these things that makes you stop and just like, hold on. You know, he's just been there for ages yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. doing Artful Dodger and they're the same and they're just as bad as each other. Yeah. You know. God, that's the name. Um, yeah. But and then we, the name. Like, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> you know. People, they were sought after. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, you know, I really don't know how much, you know, they were after, like, Artful Dodger as such. Um you know, I was, rate, I was obviously I was rating these people and everyone else, mm. loads of other people rating them. Um, but you know, you know, I was, I was quite local as well to mm. where, I mean, my base, the base was our base. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. Down in like around Clapham, Balham area, two in. Mm. You know, and you know, we start getting our little crew together, and me and my partner as well, crime. Mm. Um, you know, and we're on this. We're on it. You know, we're really on this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we got. We've got writers benches, you know, where we're going, which, you know, I don't really know if they're, that's really operating like that now. But, you know, it's before cameras. So, you know, you could just catch all day somewhere, you know what I mean? So really? Had, you, all day? Yeah, just... all day. You just catch there, you know, on a station. What? So you could just be there, just fucking, no one bothers you, no one disturbs you? No one bothers you. You're in there, you're there, sit down, you might bomb around your area where you are, <laughs> you know, sit there, <laughs> like, chat. You know, do pieces, whatever. Wow. You know. I mean, that just seems so romantic. <laughs> it sounds so... It was, it was, it, yeah. I mean, it's the best childhood, you know, that, you know, you could wish, you know, for yourself because, you know what I mean? It's like, you, you know, you were playing, yeah, but you were doing serious stuff, mm. you know. Serious playing. And it was, yeah, so it's serious playing. You, were, you know, you were creative, but you, you know, you were destructive and getting some angst out and doing all that and growing up and going through adolescence. Um, you know, you were finding your identity, mm. uh, making an identity for yourself, yeah. being who you wanted to be. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mixing with others, like-minded, mm. forming bonds that, you know, you, you have till today. Yeah. Mate, that sounds sick. You, you were a train hitter. Whole yeah. cars fueled. I remember, I remember clocking them like super. I'm right, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely around, um, sort of, yeah, probably late eighties, yeah. well, uh, nine, and going into nineties. Um, me and Fuel really sort of partnered up. That's the one, yeah. And you know, we are, we were like sort of similar mindset. Was this like an, your initial kind of intro to really, you know, running line and being prolific? Train wise, would you say like you and him together as a dynamic it, it, it excelled? What your yeah, I think were? I think I produced some of the, my, my best cars with him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, we produced yeah some some good cars, and you know we had fun. You know, we did it serious. He was serious as anything. He, he was fucking piece serious. Man -made, as shit. What was it? Man made. Man's made murder. Man's made murder. Dude, mm. yo, that was cold, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, but that was about the AIDS, yeah, AIDS crisis, yeah, 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 yeah. and the, uh, you know, the idea that it's made, it's, it's man-made. So, you know, we were just, uh, I was, I was into like, you know, social commentary and mm. politics, and religion, and you know, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was into putting that, you know, putting that message that's, across. Because yeah. that's what I, you know, so that that was me at the time. So. Yeah. I was interested in doing that and I, I, I saw, yeah, you know, I saw the trains as kind of political sort of, you know, a platform, but, you know, like, not hard political, you know, mm. but just, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, political, you know, people got to see this and you got a platform, you got, you know, you can write your message. Yeah. yeah. Like we, and I think that that holds true with any conscious artist, uh, music as much. Mm. But if you've got like the opportunity to go public on some shit that you're doing and, and a place that is, you know, that that, that could be seen, then that's uh, surely you've got to utilize that to your to to a message, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> so I always used to love just, you know, looking at reactions. <clears throat> so, 
you know, and the feeling you'd get, like, you know, when you're like, you've done a whole car, window down, whatever it is, mm -hmm. during the early morning, then you like pack up, you're out, like, you know, stash your, your thing, like, go on the line, you know, get some photos, or just see it, mm -hmm. see it running. Mm -hmm. What was that feeling? What was that feeling? Oh, like? man, when you see it running, it's like you, 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 you own everything, like, you know, it's like, yeah, man, mm -hmm. it's me here, yeah. you know, yeah. like, I know, yeah, look at that, that's me. Like, you don't know, mm -hmm. but that's me. I look at it and it's it fresh. It takes your breath away. Yeah, it takes your breath away. Every time you see your car, like for me, mm. you know, running and, you know, it's on, you know, I don't want to get too deep into like the trains and shit mm. and like the design of the trains and the mm. movement and how it just really just creates this funk that you can't really, you know, replicate. It's just, and it's easy. It's so cool. Mm. Just as they glide around, <laughs> you know. I've said this before on podcasts, right? It's so second nature. It's easy to forget that things like this didn't exist. Eddie Van Halen, Jimi Hendrix, these people, they gave birth to guitars being played a certain way on a record. We listen to it now as if it's second nature, but these things really, they, mm. they're created with the intention to last forever. They change and chip. But when you see something and it's so second nature, it's actually, it's, it's, it's ironic, isn't it? That mm. it's like, it's like that. Of course we have graph on trains. Why wouldn't we? You know, mm, it's like, mm, well, there mm. was a time when it wasn't. Mm. And there was a time when they trains were looking very different. It didn't feel like that. And it, you had to, you kind of, each time you went on the line, I bet it was like experimenting, wasn't it? It's like. Yeah. I mean, it was experimenting, but you know, just, yeah, just living it, you know what I mean? And, and creating something new each time you're going along and like learning something new and new adventure, you know? So it was like, it was something, it was, I suppose it was experimenting, but you didn't really see it as that, you know, you saw it as you're an acting, you are, you, you know, you're vital. Mm. Vital, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> you mean? You're part of an organism that you're, you know, you're adding your, mm. your piece of history, you're adding it into the, into the framework. Mm. Um, techniques, paint. What was what paint were you, were you using in the early days? What did they have available? I mean, we started off with car paint, you know, like car plan. Car plan, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you know, maybe Auto K came along, still car paint, mm. but you know, a bit better. Mm. You know, kind of, kind of paint, but you know, we're less watery. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, we were sometimes in those yards, like just the whole thing's dripping. You're like, why is it all dripping? And it's just mm. like, and it's cold, and you can't get it to work. And so, a lot of so it was that. It was that. You go through. You know, you mean you go through that experience night after night. You know, all sorts of shit would happen. You know, where you wouldn't paint. You know, you waited in a bush for like four hours, and nothing mm. happens. So, mm. You know. How many times a week would you go out painting? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I mean, you know, at its height, you know, be, most nights I'd be out. Really? Yeah, most nights. It immerses like you. Like bombing or, you know, planning a piece or, hmm. you know. What did your peers say? What did your family say? What was, what was the general well, attitude to it? Well, like, I suppose my brother knew, like, what I was doing, but... My parents maybe kind of knew, but maybe like they didn't know because they didn't really want to know. Um, <laughs> they just um, kind of blocked it out. <laughs> yeah, 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 as 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 my parents do. So, so yeah, yeah, they probably knew a bit, but um, you know, I kept it low. Really? You know, I kept it low, especially with family. I don't think any of them would have really known really? to the extent. That's that's a that's a lifestyle in itself. Trying to keep something that is your vocation, like on a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you you just got layers of secrets, man. When you do graph, you, you know, mm -hmm. you're just like you got personas that you don't want. You know, that's 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 that one. This this one, maybe that one, that one. Layers of secrets. Layers of. Personas. Yeah, at least for me, you know, what I mean, with my family set up and all that, you know, I'm sure it's not like everybody. Well, yeah, it's all different. You know, some people, yeah, they'd be like, it's cool, they're out there. Like. But the thing I find interesting about what you said then was these layers of um, incognito. Like you're, 
Mm. You're trying to keep... You, is that a protection thing, maybe, from the... Not, nothing personal. We're not going to get deep here, so, you know. But, but what I mean is, like, at its core, you're you. Then there's the persona of the writer. Then mm. there's the persona mm. of your surrounding friends, your immediates. Mm. That's a that's a respect thing that you want to keep. And then, then you've got the family thing. And then you've got the city... Do you, now when you kind of say yeah, like that, I'm yeah, like, yo, yeah, that's, yeah. that's actually quite a lot of layers you've got to manage. There. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, sort of decompartmentalising it all, you know, which which I do anyway, so. Mm. Um, but, you know, I just want to keep that, that thing safe. Like, yeah, my graph is safe because who needs to know knows? Mm. My family stuff's safe because they don't really know about the graph too hard and, you know. Do they still not now? Is it, is it generally spoken of or not? Yeah, I don't. I don't think they. Yeah, they wouldn't really know now. No. Really? Even even to now, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Um, they were not even a. I mean, look, you're you're a fine <laughs> artist as well. You know, um, it, uh, you've seen it at the start. I've put them off at the start. Um, you're a fine artist. That charcoal piece is incredible, and it's like. I feel like you could go any direction with your art. That's what's amazing. Is like you. Like a graph kind of chose you, mm. but you and and so your parents, your family recognizes that you're an established creative artist, right? Yeah, in terms of yeah, yeah that side of things, yeah, yeah, they know, yeah, they know more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the pieces that you've gone on and done, and mm. the exhibitions, and you know, all these different, it's like it's crazy, and and that's why at the start I was like, yeah, it's just this journey, you know, that it feels like you're always, you're very much on your own kind of creative mission or at least since, since I've known you mm. because it just feels like you're you're this you're always able to like lend your hand to all different types of disciplines yeah I mean maybe maybe um I mean sort of like making fine art I mean that was always kind of there as kind of part of graph anyway to a mm. certain extent <clears throat> and really kind of like leading into the charcoal. So it was a sort of conscious decision, you know, and it's, it's like, you know, it's a simple material, as it were. And, um, mm. But, it, you know, I wanted to strip away colour. I wanted to strip away um, the, the language of colour for a bit, for just to, you know, so it can be just free and about the, the form, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, the, and the tone and the form and the feeling. Because, you know, Working in black and white, you can you can get a mood, kind of yeah. you can create like just a mood straight away, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so it was like a conscious sort of figure of like, yeah, I just want to strip away this for a bit. I love graph, will always love graph, but I wanted to try something like the kind of the opposite in some ways, you know? yeah, yeah. You know? <clears throat> well, because that that, and I think everyone does that creatively i think you have to because that refuels the that fills mm. the well up again doesn't mm. it so where you think ah, oh, yeah i'm a bit done with, a bit done with graph then you do this thing and it yeah. gives you ideas yeah yeah exactly then you know you could kind of feed back in if you want and um yeah i think you've got to be keep you know always turning you mm. know in some way mm. i think you know you've got to choose a point where you're turning you're doing something new mm. you know um yeah, I think that's important to do. Would you would you consider yourself a, a little more elusive now than maybe because when we first met, mm. we were going to a whole bunch of times. It'd be jams. It'd be like at stations. It's like yeah, what's it going to be? You know. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, in the wake of like Instagram, I know you set up an Instagram to, to start with, and then you know it was just mm. there was a, suddenly this kind of hiatus of doing mm. putting, posting stuff, and I, you know, just for, just as a you know, I'm sure it's not general generally thought. But I, I thought it. I was like, yeah. Was it, what was did was your intention to just not put out on there to to draw back a bit? Well, part of it was like this thing where, you know, I'm not really a social media person really, but if I'm gonna put something out, you know, I wanna put it out like, to, you know, how I feel it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I didn't, and I didn't really know that there was this thing of, you know, Instagram being this sort of, like, type media that's kind of cheap and throw away and you're just like... Mm. And I was like, I didn't really understand that, you know, why it needs to be that way. Yeah, yeah. 
So, so I was just like naively like, boy, you know, I'm gonna scan all my stuff and I'm just gonna put it out there and yeah. I'm gonna tell a story and I'm gonna just, because you know, I was like looking at, I liked looking at a few things on Instagram and thought, yeah, yeah you know, I'll just start doing something like that. That shit was incredible. Like when you started posting that stuff, I was like, yo. You know, part of it was me thinking, yeah, I'm just, I just want to get this down. You know, yeah. you know, I haven't done a book yet. You know, would like to do a book, but you know, probably, you know, in terms of getting it together, you know, if someone was like there to be like happy to partner up and do a book, if someone was there and happy to partner up, you know, because it would be a serious book. It'd be a serious book because you know it'd be me and Fuel. Yeah. You know, and I'd, I'd the giants. come with my bit. Like, yeah, we. I mean. We, we formed All Star Kings, yeah. which, which was a response to Giants. And it kind of almost came, it came from even a particular like thing they wrote, which I think... Really? Yeah, because com the communication of, you know, graph like that yeah. was that sharp, like, you know, oh, he's gone over me. Right, okay, so that's something. Go sort out, go see him. Not over, like crossed you out, he's just above. Yeah? yeah, so he's above me. Okay, so he's he thinks he's above me. Oh, shit. yeah. <laughs> See the trouble that's about to. Do you know ensue. what I mean? So, and we had this thing of like, of giants. It was a kind of rivalry anyway because they were southeast and we were southwest, and you know, Crash was in it, mm. kind of, and it was mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. thing that was already there. There was already something already with the different members so from their previous crews. For? How long did that? How long did that like alliance last for? With the All-Star Kings? Yeah. Uh, it didn't last for long. That's really. what I... it didn't. It didn't last for long. It was a short period. I can't remember even if it was like a year. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, but like, um, yeah, now we put it up. We got out with it and it was like, you know, we were going to do these big battle pieces and all that. <clears throat> but, you know, you know, my old crew, you know, Hellraisers, you know, we, we, we <laughs> see this book could battle. be crazy, man. Like, can you imagine the chapters on that? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. When you bring out, you draw out the emotions of what was going on in the stories as well. Yeah, because you know we were serious. You know, we were kids, but we were taking it seriously. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> so you know, Hellraisers, we we battled. You know, some of you know, <laughs> giants crew members and. You know what I mean? Um, Southeast Vandals, mm. and you know that was a that was a big thing. That was like, and that I think I think that might even start off from the going over, going above. So this was yeah. all just so from like Charing Cross Station in the tunnels. You know, I think like I might have done a tag, came back. There's London Giants over it. Okay, so I go over again. Go about business, like come back and then there's no <laughs> one. And then it was from there. And then like we see them like outside um fridge. Oh shit. Like, from jet some jam. And it's like it's like a big argument. Really? It goes yeah, down? Over this, yeah. So it's a big argument because it's I don't, like, I don't, how do like just uh, you know, you don't have to go too deep. But you're face to face now. Mm. You've had weeks of this bollocks. It's been mm. like going back and forth, mm. back and forth. And not just in one place, in all the other places. Yeah. It's been a run around. Mm. How, how heated must that have been? How heated was yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a, it was a strange one because I suppose, you know, I think we were boy, maybe because we knew mutual people yeah. as well. So yeah, so it wasn't that direct like ah, you know, <clears throat> you know, we knew mutual people. You know, I suppose there was maybe a grudging respect, each of us for the other. Mm. Um, but it was like, you know, it was like, it was heated. It was it was heated, you know, and it did almost come to some blows at some point. But yeah, it was heated. Wow. But then it was like, okay, battle. Like, it's you on bring now. your paint. Yeah, yeah, you bring your paint. You know, a few weeks from now, you know, I want to see your piece. Meet you down at Covent. Boom. I want to see it. Down at Covent. Mm. And fucking around around here, mm. straight to the straight to the jugular. Yeah, the the the, the, the nerve center. Yeah, bring the pictures I want to see, and then we go we go and see it. What's the uh, what's the what's the what's the feeling of of going into battle like that? Like <coughs> you know, wall v wall, crew v crew. What's the feeling back then? What was the feeling like? I mean, you know, you're with your crew, so it's like you're hyping each other up, you know, and it's mm. just, you know, you you know, it's graph. You know, 
at that time it was real as well, you know, it was it was very real. So there was always a threat of it getting, you know, sort of, you know, more Hostile. physical, whatever. Yeah. You know, there was always that threat. There was all, you know, you know, we were people from, you know, same type of place and stuff. So um yeah, so there was you know, but you were you know, you're like you're ready to like, yeah, you know, still outlines, yeah. Outlines got a kick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you do the colours, yeah. Colours got a yeah, kick, we bring it together. Hmm. We see, yeah, get the paint. You know, but it's because you know, there's we, a method to this. It's, this is just you don't just go to chrome or blacks or VIPs or anywhere else just to pick up the paint. This is a met. This is like a weeks prep, weeks and weeks mm. of preparation, right? This is like you're going yeah. in, you're going in. I mean, for stuff like that, yeah, because this, they said like you know a few weeks time. So you know, so and the big thing is it's a lot of paint to get, but they they were hard rackers. You know, they were rackers supreme. You know. That was that was the thing about those Southeast guys. They was rack and supreme, man. They were like getting tons of paint and good paint. What was your what was your spot to rack? Where would you rack? Where's your where where, where was your spot back in the day? Ah, oh, there's there's different places. London Graphics. London Graphics. At some point, you know. Um, yeah, there was a few London Graphics. I mean, mm-hmm. I forget I forget some of the other places, but. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I wasn't a big rack. I was a great racker, to be honest. You know, I think I'd be pretty shit. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was a great racker. There's so, some I mean, people that I just suffered from that. Yeah, I know. I feel you. Pain. <laughs> I feel your pain. Yeah, we work on our. I work with my strengths, me. Um, mm. Wow. Okay, so you know, moving into that late eighties, early nineties, let's you know, let's orbit around that. Who were the people that were coming up behind you that you felt, oh yeah, respect? Like they're taking it, they're taking things forward, they're moving things progressively. Who are the people that, you know, that, that, that were a, a, a little bit behind you? You I mean you kinged it? <laughs> like I mean, you saw people behind you though, because you know you're on the you're on the throne. You with you know a handful of other people that really kinged it out. Who were the people behind you that you were like, yeah, respect to them, much. They, they, they're doing their thing. I can feel their presence. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, that, that 90s, you know, I mean, in terms of, like, bombing and stuff, someone like Zonk, who... Yeah, I remember th- thinking it was unbelievable at one point with him. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. how how can you be so prolific? Like, really? Yeah. I didn't know, like, what was going on. <laughs> so, um... So, so yeah, for bombing, you know, obviously DDS, all, all respect to the, all the DDS, mm. you know, they were really, you know, really doing some serious stuff, mm-hmm. serious bombing, serious street work, serious everything, you know, so that's always respect there. Because um, these people cite you, they cite Robbo, they cite Drax, they cite get a lot of you guys, it's, it's your fault. It's your <laughs> fault. They see it as like, yeah, the, we were just trying to keep up with what we saw, mm. which is actually it's ba- it's baffling, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you saying that, and it's like, yeah, but they they actually say, you mm. know, that you influenced them in the work rate. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, it's hard to say, you know, like who's coming up behind in a way. Because, you, you know, because I slowed down, you know, so I was just doing a piece now and again. Mm. But had I stopped, you know, I mm. mean, am I looking, you know, and once once the really, the the real subculture of of graph mm. in terms of being able to meet up and benches and, you know, and all that real, and the vastness of it, mm. of like so many people doing it, which gives it this atmosphere anyway. Yeah. Know. More anonymity. When, you know, yeah, when there's people, you know, even... You yeah. know, just kids, just loads of kids mm. graphing. So, um, you know, when it, once it left the house, I was like, you know, there's not mm. really anything here much. I'm just going to do a few pieces when I want, you know, if yeah. I've got, like, something I want to do. Yeah. Actually, it's interesting you say that, because, like you say, when it first came over, to you know, from the States, mm. lots of people... Everyone had a tag. Mm, yeah. So there was an anonymity to that as well because you were in a 
flock of people that had, it was almost like you, it was a blanket. It was impossible to catch one. But as that whittles down, mm. is this what you mean? As it whittles down, perhaps like you become more exposed for your own identity and individuality. It makes it a lot harder for you to, yeah, to, to, mm. to kind of hide yourself in the, you know, the, the, the mm. undergrowth of like loads of other writers. Mm. That sort of thing? Well, um, I think it's probably more, you know, age sort of related and um, the natural sort of progress through adolescence and stuff where, you know, not for everybody, again, um, but you might, you know, you might just slow down certain things, other things come into play in your life and, you know, you might be getting into, like, music a bit more and, yeah, you know what I mean, and going out and going clubs or whatever it is. Mm. And I think it was part of that that kind of slowed me down, you know. Just the extracurricular. Just, yeah, just going more, you know, jams and different mm. things. And, do you know what I mean? You might make, mean to paint, but then you don't, you don't paint because, you, know, mm. you know, you've had a heavy night or whatever. Well, that's where we met. A lot of those yeah. kind of, in, <laughs> those institutions, those places. Yeah, yeah so, <laughs> so I think, yeah, I think it's prob probably part of that for me in terms of slowing down. Yeah. And, but... As I say, when that real, you know, the, the, the height of what I'd experienced, when that was dying down, mm. then I thought, there's not a lot here. I think there's a lot of, I think there's a, if someone said to me, uh, you know, are you ever going to stop doing gigs? When I was like 24, 25, I'd be like, are you fucking mad? Are you mad? Mm. I'm, like, no, I'm doing it for mm. It's hard to explain. It's just a feeling. You know, and you, I can't quite... Because the twenty-one-year-old in me is like, "Yeah, I gotta fucking do it tomorrow, no problem." Mm. But, I, and I, but I don't know where it goes. But that same tenacity, as you get older, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't charge you up in the same way. And it's funny because mm. again, in your head, you just be like, "Well, that's what I am. That's what I do. I could do it in a heartbeat." But doesn't you don't always do it, do you? Well, yeah. I mean, do you know what I mean? It's just like it's it's just life that you know. If I could go and paint a train. I'd do one tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah, like it's yeah, kind of yeah. like that. I mean, I would mm. like one part of me would, mm. yeah, but mm. the other part of me is it's just like nah, you know, it's like nah, you can't do that. What's it send you? What what's, what messages does it send you? Uh, the other the other monkey on the shoulder that's saying to you, nah, nah, you don't want to do that. What messages do, is that sending to you? To make you not want to do it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've got family, you know, mm -hmm. family, which is, you know, first and foremost, mm -hmm. that, you know, sure. what if I, you know, if I got nicked for me, I won't, you know, can't, can't bring that yeah. home and all that, um, you know, as well as any repercussions from getting yeah. nicked. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You couldn't really run too hard now. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like being on stage these yeah. days for you. <laughs> yeah. It's dead trains, but I don't really want to do a dead train. It doesn't excite me. If I'm going to go and do a train, all right, it might not run, but I want it to be, you know, like kind of good, nice train. Yeah, you know, <laughs> train times are, times that could change, run. you know, like seeing stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, see, yeah, you know. But Does that make you itch? Does it's it, not for me, the dead train stuff, really. No. Nah. No, I get it. Well, you've come from a. a you know, a background of yeah, where it was very... You see them run, man. Yeah. You see them run and you say, you know, you might see it run for a week. You know, on mm. and off and you're getting bored of your own piece. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Like, Dude, that's like, that, that would have been like a, like a high-class problem back in the day, like <laughs> yeah, nowadays. Exactly. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's first world problem, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Like nowadays, yeah. wow. I mean, you know, but when you see a train, if you see one go past, do you ever think to yourself, oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you know what I mean? Not really. Not no, really. No, no, not for myself. It's you know. Interesting. It's interesting. Not for myself. Right. No. What are you saying on the new it's brands? So much has changed, really. Yeah. You know, so much has changed, and the thing you have to look out for. You know, we had to look out for some stuff. You know, you know, there were cameras and things and like, and mm. you know, and towards the end, when the, you know, fences and more and more stuff, and then. Yeah, for me, I think it was a thing of like, yeah, it's not, it's not worth trying to get through all of that to, yeah, you know, to do something. And, for what the end and, goal and, and is, may not be, you know, we never even run. You might not be doing a whole car. Yeah, yeah. You know, you might have to do a panel, and it's nah. 
Yeah, it's not the one. It's yeah. just what you're used to. It's what your memory holds true, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah, when you experience that, you know, you don't want to... For me, I don't want to... I don't really want to do too much mm. that's backwards. Mm. Regressing yeah. on what your mm. legacy already holds. Yeah, yeah. What's your uh, thoughts on the new brands, on the new paint brands? And I mean, have you, you, you worked with any of them at the moment? You know, the, 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 the Beltons and the new Montanas and all the, all the different... Yeah. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a dream. Like, you know, if we had that paint when we were mm. writing, you know, just, you know, everything will pop more, everything will be cleaner, mm. you know, you'd, you'd probably progress quicker. Mm. You know, mm. it would really be something different. I see a lot of um, a lot of uh, old school cats coming back, mm. and it's it's interesting because like when you see their see their work now, it's almost like the the level has just mm. been ever so slightly realigned with the new products, and it's it it's like they are it's like a four wheel drive. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. like their pieces are like they they have they have a lot. Is more. this in London? You mean? Or? Yeah. Like right. down the road, Rich has done a piece with Fume. There's a you know, obviously, you know, Thor was out recently on in mm. Trellic, and it's just like, yeah, this is, you know what I mean? It's mm. like these are mm. the, the, the estates that the, the throne is waiting for you, boys, and it's like to see mm. them using the, the paints in the way that you know I don't remember in the you know, old photos. You know what I mean? It's sick. Mm. Mm. Um, do you do, do you do you do productions? Are productions your thing at the moment? Do you have, you know. Uh, uh, you know, graph wise. Yeah, artwork. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would do. I'd do a big wall. I mean, that's kind of what I'd be into doing. Mm. You know, I mean, I, I didn't. I'd be into just doing a piece. You know, mm. I, I did just a piece just a few months ago. But um, you know, I'd like to do some big walls. Mm. You know, in terms of like really stretching myself, I'd like to do some. You know, I'm saying right, this is part of the. A continuum of you know some of my best work or whatever. I'd want to do a big wall. Do you know what I mean? That's sick. Yeah, like a side of a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like do it proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. Hopefully it's coming. You know, we we're talking about it, and but I think unless I get my you know get my shoes on and go out there and find it and and really set it up, you know, it might not happen. We see. Yeah, yeah. Mm. that has to happen. This has to happen. We have to be down there filming it. It has to be the one. Yeah. Um, I circled around Kings and Toys a little bit. Explain to me your involvement in that. Because that's where I first ever saw you. Mm. I mean, obviously I saw the tags. I saw tags, you know. I used to go in the West End and, you know, you'd be there. There was that little, actually, there was that little alcove that was just off of, um, just behind, um, I think it was McDonald's or some, it, that little area on Tottenham Court Road, that corner, and there was the, the, the pub as well around the back of that there used mm. to be a car park with a kind of you know like, like a corner of it had a wall to wall and there's a record store there right. I think there was a couple of DJ spots and I, I remember seeing your tags around there I always just I, and I don't know why I think it's because I came from out of town I always just assumed mm. your your presence was always like West London but clearly it, it wasn't you know yeah I mean it's kind of all over at yeah. some point you know yeah did you film Kings and Toys there? I, I got the impression that you it, that was where your piece in the programme was filmed, in the West End. I don't know why I thought that it was some stairwell or something. It looked like Mr Bongo's or something. I, was, you know, I, I think that might have been filmed... Oh, I think that was filmed in Farringdon ah. or by Farringdon Yard, right. I think. Maybe part of it was filmed somewhere else, but I think I had a part that was near. Really? Yeah. You f you were very much a spokesperson in that. I felt it felt like you know you you had the intel, you were, you f you were qu and quite open to talk about stuff. Well, I hope I didn't <laughs> say too much, but um, yeah, you know, I was just I was just into it. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and and I suppose could articulate it to a certain extent. You know, yeah, like what I thought it was about. You know, yeah, you did. That's true. You, mm. You're very articulate in the way that you explain, and you think about things. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was, you know, it was great for me. Mm. I, was, I was able to incorporate that thing into graph and express myself through that. And I was really into, you know, the the you know the stuff around graph. Mm. You know, sort of things that 
it builds on. Almost but, certain times the piece was irrelevant. Yeah, explain more in that respect. Because it was, it was, you know, it would be about the planning, like, right, the racking, that's the next chapter mm -hmm. of this thing, another building block in this thing. And then it's, um, you know, it's getting together, sitting down, designing it, burning, playing music, playing beats. You're in this vibe, you're in that vibe, yeah? And you're mm -hmm. graphing and you're like, you're feeling like, yeah, fucking, we're so bad, you know? And then... Um, And you plan it, you're like, right, it's gonna be such and such time. Come around at 10 or whatever. You know? All of that, you know, it's simple stuff maybe. But you know, when you're in this persona and you're in this atmosphere and you're like, you know, you're you you know, you're going to do something wicked, you know, that is like within culture, yeah, is something, you know, unique, you know, you know, and you're gonna have fun and it's gonna look amazing. You know, and you just wow, you're just like on such a trip. So, so cool. and, and then getting into a place, you know, Moorgate tunnels, the you know, the guts of the Barbican Centre. Shit. You know, you get in there, yeah. and it's like concrete, concrete sort of like um, just structures and rooms and. Take your breath odd, away, odd stuff. Take, yeah, odd shaped rooms, and then you know, and then a balcony in the tunnel, and then you go somewhere else, and you know, so all those sort of places, you know, as a kid, as you know, as we were to a extent, you know, is it's adventure, you know, it's the adventure of it is just. Did it take immense. your breath away, like when you see something of a structure yeah, and you're the only one in there? It, yeah. yeah. Is it haunting? Is it haunting? I mean, for 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 me, yeah, haunting. Yeah, for, I mean, for me, it's profound. You know, it was like, well, I'm in some places that no one goes. Mm. You know, and they're amazing. You know, architecturally, structurally, they're really interesting places. Do you feel like you own a bit of the city? Yeah, for yeah. For that reason, this, this is it. Yeah, you feel you've kind of got the keys to you know the underground of it to to the, the like, guts of it. You know. That's insane. Mm. You hear stories, and you, yeah, you know, you come out and you're you're a different being. You know, you're walking amongst people. I mean, you know, what I mean, and you're you're different. You're not like, you're like Neo. Else. You know, you're special. Yeah, yeah. kind. Of, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, it can it can be like you can look at graph as a whole matrix sort of area, but um, yeah, it was it, you know it was like that. So you know, you were creating that atmosphere for yourself and doing your thing, and the bonding of. Your brothers, your friends, the people that you're yeah. with. Man, I'm female. You're there and you're in ex an experience that is mutually respected and shared for that one snapshot. Yeah. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you, you, you know, you go with a group of people and you don't know everybody. And How's that feel when you don't know everybody? Right. That, would, that would kind of you tweak you, me out, Then man. you're taking it on trust. Then mm. you're like, okay, my man's brought him in, so... Should be right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. he's because, nice. Because, he must be nice. <laughs> well, well, I trust him, and I've I've been yard with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's bought him. So it should be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Huh? I mean, you're all down there for a reason. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes the worst does happen. But yeah. what's the worst that's happened? <laughs> what's the worst that's happened? I've been very lucky. I've been very, very lucky. Not a lot of bad really? <laughs> shit's happened to me in comparison. Yeah. Well, you hear stories. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's the other side of it. Obviously, that's the, that's the side where, you know, which, which makes it so high stakes and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the adrenaline rush even more, you know. Yeah. That's the drug, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's that knowing, yeah. Whether it's really conscious or it's just you, you're putting it yeah. back, you know, you know it's there <laughs> that it can go bad. Yeah. To the endorphin of what mm. could possibly happen. Yeah. It happens at the end of the night. You're tucked up in bed, you're looking for a train to take a shot of, or, you know. Mm. Mm. What a life. And like you say, you, you, can't, you can't buy that in a night out. You can't. <laughs> this is like, it shapes you as a, mm. as a human in the city. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Graf's the last... 
you know, the hip hop art forms, if you like, to be colonized and um, commercialized. You know, it's been tried so many more, so many times, and it's just been little bits here and there that are just like taken out, but not really mm. been the thing, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, now I think they've sort of managed to sort of reconstruct it and do something else with it, you know? Um, what that, that, that makes a generation slightly more disenfranchised? Do you feel like maybe it's, it's progressed in, in that way that you just explained, that they tried to repackage it, that, but have they packaged it for the right, for this generation, for the right reasons, you think? Well, I wouldn't say it's a progression at all. So okay. first, first I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it in that like straight progression because um, it's what it's about whatever you want to try and do, and you know, and, you know, art, you know, in its purest form, it's it's just for the love of art, mm. you know, mm. yeah, for the it's love purest, of yeah. that, you know, of doing that thing, without any, you know, too much of the commercial sort of side coming in, mm. or or the sort of playing to the audience too much, yeah, you know, that happens. A lot of street art is, yeah. and it's playing to that. You know, Graf played to an audience, but it's own within its own mm. paradigm with its its own rules and its own. Yeah. You know, yeah. and you got to be lucky to that, be allowed yeah, the in thing it. that you couldn't really yeah. access easily. Yeah, you have to be lucky to even be accepted. There's like even knowing about it. That's the that's the as as a spectator. That's kind of what I miss the most. I think you know when I first got into l loving Graf as much as I do, you were, we were acquaintances, we were friends mm -hmm. in, in clubs and g getting on it was like, but you had to know that club. You mm. couldn't just, you know what I mean? You can't just be friends with whoever like mm. that. You have to earn, you mm. have to have a, a level of skill set or something that defines you as, you're invited, you're in there. There isn't that so much with Graf and I do, without sounding too pompous or anything, because, you know, things do change but I do miss that as a spectator to a degree mm. and I'm sure you're pretty much like that as an artist you know because uh, graphic graph in my mind is like definitively like the most rawest purest art form on the planet you know where you stand with a graph writer mm. the, the, the integrity is like mm. colossal mm. like you say there's no money in it not not if mm. you're really doing it yeah but I mean, what I loved, and I don't know if it's even if it's so much like that now, was the diversity of it as well. Yeah. I mean, the characters and the personalities. Yeah, from you know, public school boys, girls, you know, to the opposite end of the spectrum, you know, mm. working class, proper like from the hood, whatever area. Um, you know, they might even, you know, you might even be painting with each other and stuff like that and mm. with the same crew and all that. Yeah. You know, Giants was a bit like that. They were, you know, there were some, some members who, you know, were kind of different, but it was all such that respect for mm. being in the same art form, going through the same experiences. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It opens more opportunities than you realise. Oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It made you know it makes some people break some people. Mm. You know, unfortunately, that's the other thing as well. Graphs had a lot of casualties, really. Yeah. So, um, you know, and you know, not just deaths as such, but just you know, lives. You know, a bit kind of twisted. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Those stories, they're kind of brought out to the. They're kind of brought out nowadays more because of social media. You know, you hear more about, you know, the, the RIPs, of the people, mm. and, and the immediate shock and passing of someone that you see on, on a on a on a feed. Mm. You know what I mean? Before mm. you know, it's even widely publicised. It's, it's it's there, and it's it's the spread of information mm. online is uh, is mad as well, isn't it? Yeah, it changes everything. It changes, yeah. Especially with graph. Once you know. People, you know, the internet was more prolific and people were on the internet and sharing stuff and doing stuff and putting it on the internet. And, you know, there was that element of 
when we're doing graph, you know, certain times you either saw it, you didn't, you didn't, you know, mm. you, if you missed it, you missed it. Or you might see the photos if I let you see them mm. down somewhere, you know. That's just and it was all that. So it was kind of, you had to discover it and find and mm. research and, you know, but to know what's going book. on that's or be you, part of it. Mm. They, like you were saying, the, the throwaway act of Instagram and, and other platforms you know he says while well, he's doing a fucking podcast but you know the the, the, the is yeah something to be said about having a book that is definitive it's like it's the the journey in entirety mm. as the artist wanted you to see it mm, yeah that shit's amazing yeah that's if i'm going to do a book it's going to be it's going to mm. be like that it's mm. going to be a serious book mm. yeah how many flicks you got dotted around in necessarily at your house but where, how, how many flicks do you reckon you you have well this is the other thing to be honest you know i wasn't really that prolific you have your flicks though. as a as a piece yeah but i wasn't really oh man there's so many people do did more loads more pieces than me I, I i don't know i sort of created this thing maybe where it looks like i did more than i did how would you create that Maybe each each thing had some sort of significance that made it resonate a bit more. Uh, okay, know, okay. There's such subject matter. What you're putting. So across. yeah, just maybe yeah, but um, I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't really paint that much. I haven't painted that much. I haven't got that many pieces. Got enough for a book though. Got enough for a book. Yeah, and the book wouldn't just be about pieces. So you know, as I said, like yeah, I'm more mm. interested in the, the surroundings and the. You know, the stuff that makes up the know, act of yeah, doing what it. comes before and around it. I've never, actually, it. I've never actually that's never been brought up to this level like this has here in this chat because I think I think as a as creative people, all of us, we look for the end result, the product. Do you know what I mean? It's like having a coffee. You know, there's some people that just drink the shit and then be done with it, but then. There is a method to creating coffee that some people just really get a kick out of. It becomes their, that becomes their habit. That's more the habit than they're doing. A bit like rolling a joint, I suppose, you know. They, and yeah. you're right, the behind the scenes in that, the, the, the development of how do you get to that stage, that stage, it's very rarely, it's very rarely put in, um, articulated in the way that you've kind of explained it. Uh, it's just a sort of consciousness of your, of your, actions and what you're doing and how they make you feel mm. you know and graph kind of heightens that you know mm. just walking down the road to the yard and everything's quiet and you're like you're focusing you're concentrating your heart's going you know all of that sensory you're, you're looking around like you know you want to know what what a car is doing and if some if someone's up in that curtain or not you know you know you want to so you're you're sharp like that so it's, it's all intense. So the experience is just intense. So that's why you can remember all these little details of, yeah, you know, when we hid in this bush and came out and then the guy went past and, you know, all of that. And you just... Because everything is because so magnified yeah, so, and intense. so heightened. Yeah. I got lost as you were explaining <laughs> that, bro. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, so maybe for some people it's, it's kind of geeky kind of weirdness, but, you know, all of it is art. You know, all of all of those movements and actions and it's all a, it's a performance. It's all part of creating the, the piece. Mm. And you don't realise what a dash of that, mm. a line like that, where that energy has come from and mm. being able to even stand there and do it. One thing I saw that blew me away is, um, I think it's some French guys. But, um, so someone sent me a video and I see these guys come down and they're they like, you know, they kind of got the hat down and they got dark clothes and they got the bag and stuff. Mm. And they, they go in the bag and they're like, train comes in and they're, and and they're doing the like old, old cars. And yeah, yeah. Like, painting you know, up. Outline everything. Yeah. But they've got no paint. <laughs> they, they, they've got nothing in their hand. They're just... They're just... They're just performing it out. 
That's incredible. And they're, and they're rushing and they're running and, and I'm like, that's bad. That is, that's badass. That's bad. Wow. Mm. Who are they? As I said, I think some French dudes. Boy, when I saw that, because that, that's, that's kind of what I'm into is like, it's the, wow. it's the performance of it. I have never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. But you, they, but they went in as if like they were doing no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a while, I, 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 I thought, what's happening? Oh, yeah, yeah, they had a bombing, the bombing. Yeah, yeah. They're like they feel hot and all that. Mm. And, oh shit! There's no. It's no so cold. Yeah, That's so cold. it's bad it's yeah. to see it, and it's filmed well. You know, it's filmed like they are. It's filmed like you know, clean. Someone send us a stuff. link if you know what <laughs> this is. Send us a link. Drop it on the comments. Um. Bro, like, Shit, I'm wearing myself up. You need, you need, you need cooling off, bro. You're yeah. on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that stuff's bad. I'm lost for words. Like I've never. You're a very good storyteller. You're a very good storyteller. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, it feels like you were. Uh, you're ready. You're ready to talk. It's interesting. It's interesting because that, and I, and now when I think of Kings and Toys, I think that I always felt that you were mm. well articulated and you know have a have a well balanced. You have a you have a good balance on the subject matter. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, re, I really reflect on like stuff like naturally, just really hard. Maybe you know too much, whatever. Sometimes, but to your detriment, you think? Yeah. 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 Even with graph, because you reflect on like shit, you know, it's like what might happen. Shit, yes. Do you have any regrets? Shit, I oh yeah, I regret not painting more. Really? Yeah. Mm. But the pieces you did do were just, they just stick in your mind. That's the thing. Yeah, but there were times I went and didn't paint. There was loads of times I went and didn't paint, and there were t loads of times where I'd planned to go and didn't go, mm. you know. So. You know, it's in hindsight, isn't it? But all those times you're like, wow, if I'd painted then, who knows what would happen. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you can always keep yourself with those sorts of things, can't you? Yeah, because you don't really see it at the time, you know. I think we're aware of, to a certain extent, that this is time limited, you know. Yeah. That, you know, there's more graph squads and more this and that. And you own mortality more being young and things like that too? Yeah, 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 exactly. Growing up, you know, mm -hmm. you can you can feel that happening and you, you're dropping out a bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah. At the age you're at, and I, this is totally like in the, the, the ears of the beholder, it's totally subjective because everyone has their different courses in life. Do you, do you feel like Graf has, could, or you could understand why it would potentially become a hindrance to you if you were to have like carried on that path? And to the point that, it, you know, you carried on consuming, you carried on doing it, kept, kept on, kept on. Like, you know, you would have had a very different life to now, mm. good or bad. Mm. You know, is it to your detriment, Graf? You know, at the age, at the age you are? Oh, it depends on what you want out of life, isn't it? It depends mm. on what you, you know, do you want that stability? <laughs> you know, to be honest, do you want, do you want a certain amount of stability mm. that's just there? Um, you know, you're not really, it's not going to mess up too much, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, you know, or you want to just go with it. Mm. You know, as I say, certain part of me once would just go with, you know, going doing a, a train, mm. you know. No, I uh, feel it. I feel it. So, you know, so it's always, it's always there, you know, it's always sort of there. But, you know, you just got other things that are, are important to you mm -hmm. for me. You know, they, and they're really important to me, so mm -hmm. I don't want to, like, mess them up too much. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. No, no, I get it. You know, I'm I'm currently living in a beautiful mansion right here, mm. and there's not one minute that goes by where I don't think to myself, Cal, this is a good job you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty, isn't it? Mm. Hindsight's twenty twenty, and, you know, people buy houses, people have cars, people have kids, but I just haven't got it single interest for it. and I don't know what I don't know what it takes for me to be triggered to give a shit 
but I don't get <laughs> And it's so hard because everyone else seems to. to. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to, man. It's whatever, whatever really yeah. brings peace to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you feel is authentic for you, yeah, do it. But that's why you don't you have to follow, them, follow no code or anything out there. Mm, mm, you mm. know, you do what, what makes you happy and what makes you settled in, inside and stuff, mm. yeah. But that's that's and that could be a wild life, yeah. For some people, they just want that adrenaline and they want to keep having it, and it's a drug, and they want to keep you know keep going for it, and they're gonna go. Mm. And you it know? kind of drive it like you stole it kind of way. Yeah, yeah. But Which that, is cool, and yeah. I, I rate those people. You know, I really I rate those people. You mm. know, I kind of respect those people, and sometimes envy those people. Yeah, who, yeah, they've got like just whatever life you know they're mm. gonna do what they do graffiti has that the driver like you stole it mentality there's some people out there right now that mm. are so fierce yeah um, i feel i didn't i didn't really have that i thought it was like too sort of calculating and kind of conscious of what's going on and sort of you know as i say it's sometimes my detriment where i went just like yeah let's just go like just boom 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 or we're all going loads of us you come in that oh, you might get yam, you might get really? caught, yeah. And then like, nah, you we pull out whole cars, it was great. All right, mm, yeah. So it's still that. Yeah. <laughs> 2020, man, it's, it's 2020. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. you know what... Look, so I'm fortunate to have been able to... Yeah. Um, ..do something that people notice. So. Yeah, and let's remember, like, what you're talking about there in hindsight is, like, graph at an 80%, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like... Nowadays, that percentage is really low, and people, you know, they, it's really hard to even consider the act, the act of what you guys was doing back in the day, or what the, that generation was doing. That's like a whole nother, like a whole nother mm. step of freedom. Mm. Yeah, I mean, remember, you know, you got to respect anyone that's writing now, yeah. really, and painting for now. sure. Think of the because... craft, yeah. It's, it's not easy, really. No. You know, it's not easy. And, you know, yards and all that. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes mm. I hear, yeah, it's easy now, or whatever. Mm. So, um... Who do you speak... Who do you speak... Who are you still connected with at the moment? Who, who do you still speak to on a regular? Um, I've got to say big up PIC as well. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. So, speak to PIC, yeah. Mm. Brother, speak to PIC, speak to Fuel. Mm -hmm. You know, I speak to, you know, those, mm -hmm. you know. I don't speak to kind of a lot of people, you know, in graph, but you know, potentially it could do. I mean, you know, it's that type of thing where, you know, I could pick up the phone with someone and, you know, we just talk like, yeah, it's back in the day where like, it's cool. I haven't seen you for 10 years, but, you know, mm. we've gone through that thing, you know, we've got that bond, mm. so, yeah. Bond? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. But I suppose, yeah, I'm just sort of like doing in my thing so I don't really speak to a lot of people but I do kind of ask what's going on and see what's going on and mm. a bit yeah it's hard to it's hard to avoid like the, the levels of output at the moment mm. you know track sides UK frontline you know people mm. just donating their camera rolls to that ain't even graph writers they see it and they're just like oh fucking oh look at this piece and it's mm. it's, it's rampant the, the, yeah you know, the videos and everything that it's, it's hard mm. to miss right at the moment, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just don't like too much seeing seeing graph through the sort of like new media, <laughs> yeah, as it were. I, I, mean? I love going I to like... places and seeing it firsthand, you know? Mm. I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I, I love that. I tell you why, yeah. is because back in the day, to see you, I'd have to go, I'd have to pay in a hip hop connection, I had to pay for graffitism. Do you know what I mean? To go, you, you, uh, to see it face to face was just mm. like a luxury. Mm. You know, I still kind of hold true to that, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, again, it's like graph, it's the environment that it's in mm. that is, you know, just a huge part of it. Mm. You know, placement of, you know, either a tag or, or a piece, whatever, you know, mm. all of that around it kind of gives it that sort of, you know, intervention on something, mm. you know. It's, mm. a, it's an intervention. intervention. It's like, and it's like yours and it's like, 
Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. it's, and it's changed the space. That's so cold. Yeah. City. City vibes. Mm. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. The kind of thing you... Yeah. The thing that I signed up for, coming to a city. Yeah, that sort of... Yeah. Sort of Blade Runner. Sort of like, you, know yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, totally it's that, that's kind of like you know half in your head. Dystopia. When you're doing, when you're doing graph. Yeah. You know, we're like if you're walking through the West End, you know, go, mm. you know those times. Yeah, bad just, bad men behind the crazy, behind the curtains. You know, and you're, yeah, you're going to the yard and like, wow, mm. it's all just happening. <laughs> Sign me up, man. That sounds fucking amazing. Well, it still is out there. It still is out there. I have, well, we know the faith is there because they come through. They come through. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. You're welcome. Oh, gee. You're welcome. Prime inside the place. Nice, man. Thank you. Thank you. Big shout out to all the regular crew. Big shout out to everyone tuning in and checking out. All right. The Killer Cannon podcast strikes again with a vengeance. Don't forget to share, sign up, tell a friend to tell a friend, hit the bell and subscribe. We're doing it every week. All right. Street culture. Prime, you're done. Nice. More vibes, more life. The mighty. Stay lucky, people. Peace. Wow. Cool. What the fuck? What? Cool. That was crazy.